subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Green Iguana. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors, and they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. This is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana! Let's hope this is the right place for it. Look up there, Leo! It's a hawk, one of the green iguana's predators. Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. It's too late! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Oh no! Great move, green iguana! Its tail came off. Now let's get away from here. Poor iguana. Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! Yay! a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The California Sea Lion. Yes! Oh, hi, 
Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. I'm gonna score. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, almost. Oh, you've got my basketball. Wow, you're really good. Bravo. Hmm. This animal looks like the sea lions I've seen at the zoo performing tricks. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. You were right. The animal you found is a sea lion, and this one is a California sea lion. California sea lions are intelligent. Have good memories and learn fast. That's why they are often taught to perform tricks at zoos. Someone must have taught this sea lion to juggle balls. California sea lions can do a lot more than that. They're so clever that the United States Navy uses them in missions. California sea lions have been taught by the Navy to perform tasks like picking up underwater objects. That's so cool. So, what do they eat? California sea lions mainly eat fish and squid. They come from the west coast of North America and live on rocky or sandy beaches. The sea lion is a wild animal, and it needs to live by the ocean. Then let's go there and find the sea lion's home. Come and join us. Let's do that, Leo. See you downstairs. be able to get across these rocks. It might be easier if we travel over the water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Help. Do you hear that, Katie? It sounds like someone in trouble. Help me. I hear it too. Over there at the rocks. Someone is in the water. We have to help him. I'm on it. I can't get close enough. The waves are too strong. If we're not careful, we might hit the rocks. No, hero. It's also too dangerous for you. The young sea lion wants to help. That's not a bad idea because sea lions are great swimmers. Leo, your rope. Good idea, Katie. Here, sea lion, catch. Go, sea lion. <coughs> now let's pull. <coughs> we got you, Mister. Well done, sea lion. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. The sea lion must be calling out to its mother. We did it! We united the sea lion pup with its mother. Great job, everybody! Yay! California sea lion in our garden. We learned that the California sea lion is very intelligent and can be trained very easily. We also learned a sea lion pup needs to be with its mother. So we took the sea lion pup back home, where we reunited it with its mother. Good job, children! You did it! You are amazing wildlife rangers. The raccoon. Hi, 
everybody. My name is Leo, and I'm a Junior Ranger. But you can call me Super Ranger Leo for now. And this is my puppy and sidekick, Hero. <coughs> Did you hear that, Hero? It's coming from behind the house. Let's go. What a mess. Hey, it's a gray and white animal. It's wearing a mask, too. Oh, wait, that's not a mask. That's his fur. It's a raccoon. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here, raccoon. Bye, Katie. So what did you find out about the raccoon? Hi, Leo. Well, you already know it's a raccoon, but it's also known as the common raccoon or the northern raccoon. The raccoon originates from North America, but today, common raccoons can also be found in parts of Europe and Japan. They can live anywhere from forests to marshes and even in urban areas. Urban areas? You mean like cities and towns? Yes. In urban areas, raccoons can build homes and resting places in boxes, abandoned vehicles, and chimneys. To find food, raccoons sometimes look through trash bins and may even break into kitchens. That's where I found our raccoon, in our trash bin. Although they can find food in urban areas, raccoons belong in the wild. That is where they can hunt for worms, nuts, and fish to eat. We should bring the raccoon back to its natural habitat, where it can find its own food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. What is it, Hero? Hey, look! There are more raccoons in the tree. Maybe it's the family of our raccoon. But they don't look very friendly. Raccoons prefer to live alone. But sometimes, male raccoons form a group of up to four. They do this to fight against other raccoons during mating season. They also do not like young raccoons that are not their own. Hey, stop that! Oh, it says here that raccoons do not like bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Hero, what are you doing? Hero, I don't think this is the right time. Hero, I don't think it smells enough to scare the raccoons away. That's a much better idea, Hero. We did it! They're gone at last! Oh, so cute! It's a big family! We did it! We found the raccoon's home and its family! Great job, everyone! Yay! Hooray! We found a young raccoon in our trash bin. We learned that raccoons can live in the wild and in urban areas, but it's much safer for raccoons to live in the wild. So we went to the forest and found the raccoon's home and family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.